My name is Julie Lin and I'm a community artist and I currently work at MICA um, in the Community Art Corps. Um, I'm also a independent artist um, who does a lot of community workshops in the community. So as part of the Crestie grant, I've been working on the Kitchen Stories project. The Kitchen Stories project is um, basically where we engage immigrants and refugees in the Baltimore community, and we do that by using art, food, um, discussions about food, and making art about food. We share recipes, we also share stories about those recipes and even just stories about their experience as a um, refugee here in Baltimore. So um, it's basically just a series of workshops that I've done at different organizations. I partner with organizations here in town that serve refugees and immigrants. One of them is the International Rescue Committee. Um, the Baltimore City Community College, they have a really wonderful program called Refugee Assistance Program, and they do um, programs there too. Well, there's a huge um, connection and similarities with cooking and art making. If you think about when you're cooking, you're, you know, it's very hands-on, you experiment maybe with some of the ingredients, with some of the recipes. It's also a very creative process. So there's a lot of parallels to cooking and art making. So that's one of the reasons why I chose to use different materials for our workshops. We use pastels, color pencils, we draw, we also make collages. Collage is a lot like cooking too because you're actually taking different things, cutting and pasting it, and making something your own. And art is also a really good way for people to open up to talk about their experiences because um, there's a lot of language barriers with some of these clients that we meet or um, some of them may be coming from a difficult emotional place so people aren't always you know right away willing to open up about stuff but when once we get started with the art making once we get started with talking about food you know it's a really good way for people to kind of open and engage um, and share share private things sometimes a lot of the stories that we hear from the participants might be things about the challenges of you know, moving to a new place, starting a new life, all those kind of things. You know, and that's just a way for people to see exactly how people are experiencing and how they're feeling. People, when you're together, when you're gathering around food, and you quickly realize there's a lot of similarities that we have in common. So in the workshops, we actually talk a lot about the similarities more than the differences. Art is a universal language, and food is a universal language.